heat one. But uh, he goes through. There is Kim of Korea, PB of 52.05. And that comes from this year. Aftab Alam, 19 year old for India. Inside Timor Barrett of Jamaica, who's got a PB of 51.56. That might just be good enough to see him through. Got his birthday on Wednesday, his 18th birthday. He'll want something to celebrate. There's uh, McMaster now. McMaster with the fastest PB of 50.16. And he won his uh, heat comfortably. Leacock of Barbados. Outside him in lane six. Then we've got Mugawani of South Africa. Who's got the second fastest PB in the field of 50.53. And that came at this meeting so he's on form and then Sinkakovs of La Latvia and Gong Debin of China in lane number nine only managed 52 11 in the heats but he has been sub 51 and he almost certainly will need that to have a chance of going through Reminder now the fastest time from the first heat, 50.95 from Watanabe of Japan. Tamara Rosan on 51.54 and Azima on the Seychelles, 51.64. Second heat, the semi finals in the men's 400 metre hurdles. Get away cleanly, uh, after the lamb. Slow to adopt his set position and he's got away slowly as well. Rising first, but Master Leacock in the middle of your picture. Lane five, we've got Kieran McMaster, who's looking very comfortable at the moment. Will he be able to maintain this pace? Streaks ahead of the rest of the field at the moment. Still he rises first, but chops badly into that fight coming off the second bed. Now he has to recover, he's gonna hold on to this one. Jamaica with Timor Barrett coming strong in the closing stages in lane number four. And we've got a hamstring, uh, looks like, for Mogawani of uh, South Africa, who's gone. And it's gonna be Kieran McMaster in lane number five, who takes the win. All sorts of drama. Hopefully Mogawani will recover from that, but it looked like a nasty hamstring pull. Oh, it did, and it looked like it hit him just as he came off that ninth barrier. I must say, I like the way this guy runs. Kieran McMaster, he's a bit rough and ready. He nearly uprooted the seventh barrier, and he's, uh, well, he's got all the histrionics at the end here, but I don't think that took out as, as much out of him as he might pretend. This is the seventh hurdle. Look how he hits this. Oops, a daisy, caught it on the way up. That could so easily have taken him down. But he's now relaxing. Now focus on the man in green there, two from the left. Remember LJ Fansell? Won this title 14 years ago for South Africa. I like the look of this guy, but two strides off there. And I don't know, hamstring, Achilles, calf, doesn't really matter, does it? Certainly hit him very hard, and that has done for him when he stood a real chance of qualifying. And on the outside here, Gong of China. That run over the last two barriers steals in the second spot, but McMaster, I think the gold is done and dusted here. You'll see why in the next semi-final when Jaheel Hyde, the defending champion, turns up. But if you're looking for a rough diamond who may become something in this event, this fella here from the British Virgin Islands, he's got it all. And if he can uh, maybe... soften one or two of those sharper edges and it might become 400 meter herder of note because it's firmly built for it well over six feet tall 
for old Mogawane. Had been going so well, and uh, tears streaming down the face. Less for pain, more for disappointment, because he had a real chance. And the way he's holding his leg there does look like a, a hamstring, as you first said there, Patrick. Yeah, big bag of ice. Big bag of ice. Uh, well, it won't sort him out long term. Uh, long rehab period for those sort of injuries. But bitterly disappointing for him. And there was a place in the final begging. So John.